A UTSA student stuck in quarantine out of state. Adding to her anxiety, UTSA says students who live in dorms must move out by the end of the month. The university says it's to take precautions against COVID-19. The night team Stephen Cavazos with how the stress of the unknown is impacting students. Being in two of three different time zones, this has been exhausting. Three in just a few days. Josefina Fernandez says her spring break trip to Puerto Rico ended in a nightmare. Fernandez was helping out with disaster relief on a school trip, but when she arrived back to the States, a UTSA advisor told the group they had to self-quarantine for two weeks off campus out of precaution, but there was a problem. A lot of us live on campus and I don't, I don't know, have a place to go. Fernandez is on day six of her quarantine. She has not shown any symptoms, but for now she's quarantined away from her mother, who she says she's not been able to a hug, but most of her belongings are back in her dorm. Fernanda says she's anxious after UTSA announced campus residents must move out at the end of the month. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to be patient as possible, but a part of me just wants to be like, okay, I need to know like now. The world is not what they thought it was, and, and the rug's really been pulled out from under them. Mental health expert Miriam Sokol says that type of stress is common during times of crisis. All of that is uncertainty, and uncertainty really breeds stress. Sokol advises those who've gone into self-quarantine not to fall into despair. She says they should listen to music, exercise, or surround themselves with things that bring them joy. Isolation doesn't have to be social isolation. But for now, she sends this message of hope. You don't get over it, you get through it. Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News.